like to thank everybody for attending the Mercer County Firemen's Association Memorial Service for the year 2021. For those of you who are grieving, I grieve with you. And we will now call this meeting to order. We're going to move to the presentation of colors by the Mercer County Fire Company's Joint Honor Guard and Bed Piper, Doug Corner. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Here is Mike Chapowski with a couple of words. First of all, thank you all for attending tonight. Uh, this year, as we did last year, when the name is read for those departed members and family members, please stand with your company at your seat and the flower will be placed in the wreath for you. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't thank the entire committee who put this on tonight. Uh, it, was, it was a pleasure working with them, and I look forward to doing it many more years. And finally, although not being remembered tonight, we lost uh, a very important member of our fire community this week with the passing of Jimmy Grayshack. The, uh, the services are later this week, and I'd urge you all to attend if you possibly could. I can't list the amount of things that Jimmy did for this organization and for every other one that he was involved with. So thank you, Jimmy. We're thinking of you. We will now hear our national anthem by Raymond Fusi. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were 
are so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Please welcome Thinking Richard Akari for an invocation and scripture reading. Let us pray. Holy and eternal God, we set ourselves aside in this moment before your presence to commemorate the lives of our friends and family of our Mercer County Fire Companies and Mercer County Firemen and our Ladies Auxiliary. We honor them for their selfless service, their time and their talent to their fire companies. O oh God, we pray that they have taken their rest from their labors and have entered into the light of God's eternal rest. We pray for their families, we pray for their friends, and we pray for us too. May they and we be comforted in the sure confidence of everlasting hope. Amen. St. Paul says in scriptures, we know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent should be destroyed, we have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. So we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ so that each one may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether it is good or whether it is evil. Please welcome our own Gil Lagasse with a few words. Gil. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the, this association welcome all of you here. Your presence is very important to all of us and certainly to those who have passed away in the coming year or so. It's, uh, before we get into that, uh, we have some individuals here that have been very helpful in supporting the fire service in Mercer County, both at the state level and certainly at the Mercer County level, and the benevolence for helping the continuance of the uh, Mercer County Fire Training Center, the Dempster Center, working in conjunction also with our county community college. I know that we have some individuals here that work on very uh, busy committees in the state assembly or senate, and they have given some good organization and, and laws that have been passed for the benefits of the first responders in this state. It's my pleasure at this time to uh, recognize uh, Senator Shirley Turner. Senator, please, thank you. <laughs> Assemblywoman Virginia Reynolds Jackson. <laughs> state Assemblyman Anthony Varelli. We have also with us Assemblyman Wayne D'Angelo, Assemblyman Daniel Benson, and 
and are very helpful. He's been very supportive of us for many years. Our Mercer County Executive, Brian Hughes. And if someone's come in late, maybe, I will try to introduce some later in the back, but uh, thank you for your assistance. We have some also some other very important people that have served as presidents. Now, they're past presidents, uh, living presidents of the Mercer County Firemen's Association. If they're here, you can stand up and be recognized. Jim Cope, Hammond Fire Company, back in 1967, 1970. I was two years old then, I think, Jim. Uh, ho, ho, ho. H. Allen Walker, the third Washington Fire Company, 1985-87. Richard Dale, West Trenton Fire Company, 1991-1993. Joseph Lenarski, Prospect Heights, 1997 to 1999. John uh, Jane Bridge uh, Senior, Pennington, 2003-2005. Mike Schiffman, East Windsor, number one, 2009-2011. Michael. Harvey Bailey, East Windsor, number one, 2012-15. George Lenhart, Clono Fire Company, 1980-1981. George, you're coming along well. Keep following the, you know, your doctor's orders, please. Keep working at it. We're on a year, pal. <laughs> He's got the spirit. Anthony Innes, White Horse Fire Company, 1988-1990. Charles Kleminski, Pennington Road, 1994-1996. Marvin Lesser, S. Windsor, number one, 2000-2002. Robert Bellotti, White Horse, 2006-2008. Bob's back there. Robert Kemp, the second, Princeton Junction, 2000, uh, 2012. And Mark Cohen, East Windsor, number two, 2019, present. At this time, I'd like to call up Donna Lenhart, President of the Mercer County uh, Firemen's Ladies Auxiliary, and Amy Seidlinger, Secretary, Mercer County Firemen's Ladies Auxiliary, for the Ladies Auxiliary Memorial Roll. West Windsor Fire Company, Ladies Auxiliary, Patricia Tyndall Tantum. White Horse Fire Company, Ladies Auxiliary, Catherine Wright Hughes. <laughs> West Trenton Fire Company, Ladies Auxiliary, Edith Gorgano. Rosaria M. Harrison. Pennington Fire Company, Ladies Auxiliary, Mary E. Thornton. Joan Mahan. Princeton Hook and Ladder Ladies Auxiliary, Judith E. Redding. Mercerville Fire Company Ladies Auxiliary and Washington Volunteer Firemen Ladies Auxiliary, Elsie Elizabeth Kiss. Hamilton Township Fire District 4 Ladies Auxiliary, Arlene E. Conover. Prospect Heights Fire Company Ladies Auxiliary, Mary Lou Weand.
Joan Mayhem. April A. Falcone. Blackwood Fire Company Ladies Auxiliary, Ruth Dolly Ettinger. Enterprise Volunteer Fire Company Ladies Auxiliary, Susan C. Sitkowski. Lawrence Road Fire Company Ladies Auxiliary, Myrtle Ruth. Baker Coxon. <coughs> Union Fire Company Ladies Auxiliary, Marie F. K. <coughs> Heightstown Engine Company Number One Ladies Auxiliary, Shirley Hewins. Please welcome back Raymond Fusi for his rendition of Danny Boy. Oh Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the roses falling. It's you, it's you must go and I must bide. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, we love you so. And when you cock and all the flowers are dying and I am dead as dead as and find the place where I am lying and kneel and say an ave there for me and I shall hear those soft you tread above me although my word to the Fireman's Memorial Roll Call. Uh, please welcome Kelly Lenarski, trustee of Mercer County Fireman's Association. And Richard Mastriano, first vice president of this association. Hamilton Fire Company. Past Chief John L. Nuban Sr., also past president Mercer County Firemen's Association. <coughs> Prospect Heights Volunteer Fire Company. Past Assistant Chief Thomas J. Ballant. <coughs> J. 
George J. Domensky. Malvin R. Hoffman, Armed Forces Veteran. Harry A. Klein, Jr. Pennington Fire Company. Richard W. Pratt, Armed Forces Veteran. Edward R. Antrobus, Sr. Past Chief Frank Albert Wagner, Jr., Armed Forces Veteran. Past Chief Thomas O. Blackwell. John S. Pollock, Jr. Hopewell Fire Company. Past Chief Raymond Van Arsdale, Sr., Armed Forces Veteran. Barry S. Davison, Armed Forces Veteran. Kelly Belmont. Robert E. Holfish. Past Assistant Chief Jeffrey Vanderwater. Pennington Road Fire Company, Earl Borgham, Armed Forces Veteran, Robert J. Nissen, Armed Forces Veteran, Jules R. Dory, Armed Forces Veteran, Princeton Engine Company number one and Princeton First Aid Squad. Past Chief William David McCloskey, Armed Forces Veteran. Wrestling Hose Company, Robert Shower. Joseph John Giglio, Jr., Armed Forces Veteran. Signal 22, John Jack Burns. Christopher M. Hassey. <laughs> Kelly Sconzo. <laughs> West Windsor Volunteer Fire Company. Past Chief Gary B. Tyndall. Princeton Fire Department, Past Chief Benjamin Raz Warren. <laughs> Nottingham Ambulance Squad, Mary Klaus.
Trenton Fire Department, retired. Stephen Toma, ladder three. Stanley C. Chopinwaski, ladder two, armed forces veteran. Captain William W. Ingram, Senior, Engine 6, Armed Forces Veteran. Richard Stanger, Engine 10, Armed Forces Veteran. Richard Cochran Green, Jr., Ladder 2. Lawrence Road Fire Company. Alfred W. Muskowitz. Leo L. Leiden. Armed Forces Veteran. Past Chief Linton N. Reed, Jr., Armed Forces Veteran. Princeton Engine Company Number One, Kevin T. Delaney. Lawrence, Lawrenceville Fire Company. Past Chief Gordon T. Buxton, Armed Forces Veteran and Founder. I'm sorry, that was Founder of the Lawrence Township First Aid Squad. Robert F. Buck, Buckert. James Charles Sisney. Slackwood Volunteer Fire Company. William C. Campy Nesta. Anthony Tony Brosky. Evangelisto Angela DiMaggio. Assistant Chief John L. Nuban Sr. <coughs> Colonial Volunteer Fire Company. Past Chief Raymond W. Lenhart, Armed Forces Veteran. John P. Niagas. Nicholas P. Cream, on Forces Veteran. De Hose Company. Kenneth J. Warner. Harry Bentley. Princeton Hook and Ladder. William J. Toole, Armed Forces Veteran.
Merciful Fire Company, Past Chief Henry W. Ryan, Jr., Armed Forces Veteran. Howard Frank Whitworth, Armed Forces Veteran. That is the end of our uh, roll. Please welcome back at this point, Raymond Fusi with You'll Never Walk Alone. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high, and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky, and the sweet silver song of a Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you Deacon Robert Thorp Sr. from the St. Raphael Holy Angels Parish and Chaplain Rustling Hose Company. Good evening. You know, one of the greatest gifts that our, our Creator has been able to give us is the gift of memory. For without that gift of memory, tonight would really have no meaning. As we pause to reflect on the lives of those from the county fire service who have died over this past year, and they played a real important part in writing the story of the fire service in Mercer County. A story that I guess goes back about 130, maybe 140 years. But we also remember tonight that each one of these people had their own unique story. And I believe that all of those stories are rooted in an event that happened about 2,000 years ago. That event is recorded in the Gospel according to Luke. And it tells us that there was a scholar of the law who stood up to test him and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law and how do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your being and with all your strength. And you shall love your neighbor 
as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Now Jesus doesn't give him a straight answer, but rather he tells him a parable. A parable is a story with a moral meaning to it. He tells him that there was a traveler going to Jerusalem. And back then, the roads around Jerusalem were not safe places. And the man is attacked and he's beaten up and he's robbed. And they dump him in a ditch along the side of the road. Now there were a couple of pillars of the community who were walking down the road. The first was a priest who walked up and when he saw the man lying in the ditch crossed across the road and walked by. And I can just imagine he kind of looked away so he didn't have to do anything. The next person to come along was a Levite, another pillar of the community. He saw the man in the ditch and again crossed across the road and walked by and ignored him. Now I don't know why they didn't stop and help and I won't make any moral judgments. But a third person came by who was a Samaritan. And you have to understand that the Jewish people and the Samaritans didn't necessarily get along with each other. But this Samaritan sees the man lying in the ditch and he stops and he takes care of him. He tends to his wounds as best he could. And then he puts him on his horse and he takes him to the inn. Now back then an inn was the best they had. There were no hospitals. And he tends to him there and then tells the innkeeper to take care of him. And he pays for his care. When Jesus was all done, he says to the man, which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered the one who treated him with mercy. And Jesus tells him to go and do likewise. Now it said that each one of these flowers here represents somebody's life story. It reminds us of why one day they chose to go down to a firehouse and ask for an application. This story tells us about the nights they got up in the middle of the night to respond to a call. And they didn't even know whose house it was or whose property. I was truly gifted in life because some of those names that were read tonight I worked side by side with on the fire grounds. And each one of those calls that they went out to added to their story. You see, the history of firefighting in Mercer County only makes sense when we look at each of the individual lives that have made up 
the firefighting service since its beginning. Since we had, they found the roots in caring for one another. All of these people who we remember tonight, I do believe, have a very special place in heaven because whether they realized it or not, every time they went out on a truck, every time they went out on an ambulance, every time they responded to the need of another person, a resident of Mercer County, they were living out this message that Jesus gave to that young man. For Jesus says, responding to our neighbors is the key to eternal life. And so as we gather here tonight, let us be mindful of the fact that one day when we make that journey into everlasting life, that we will find people on the other side. People who we formed very special bonds with. Bonds that last forever. For that's what the fire service is all about. It is bonding with one another and it's bonding with our communities the people that we serve. And so tonight, we pray for all of these people. And our prayer is very simple, that they may have eternal life and rest in peace until one day we're reunited with them. Thank you, Doug Connell. Please welcome back for the benediction, D.K. Nakari. <clears throat> Holy God, Lord of life and death, you made us in your image and you hold us in your care. And we thank you for your servants, our brothers and sisters of our Mercer County Fire Companies and our ladies auxiliary for their selfless, untiring, duty and gifts that they have given us. And now bless us all who have witnessed this memorial in honor of those of our own 
be honor and praise and glory to our God now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. If you are able, please stand for taps. concludes tonight's memorial service.